Hey beautiful souls, welcome to another pick a card reading. So today is like a no contact, minimal contact type of situation. We're going to take a look at what is going on with your person, uh, what sort of lessons they're learning at this time, how are they feeling, that sort of thing. I'll be getting some tarot and then we will be jumping into the oracle cards and as well as a few messages uh, before we close up the reading and some initials as bonus. So I just wanted to say as I was shuffling these cards um, here, I had this, sort of, this message come through that I felt I needed to share with somebody. I feel like somebody needs to maybe have like some sort of reassurance or maybe multiple people here. And it was um, if you're really enjoying loving relationship readings, you know, checking in on whether it's like a romantic partner or a soul connection or maybe best friend or family member, like you're using tarot readings to get sort of confirmation or clarity on somebody. Maybe you have like some sort of uh, gut feeling and you're feeling guided to watch readings or even purchase personal readings yourself and maybe in the spiritual community you're hearing oh you don't worry about other people just focus on yourself uh, this journey isn't meant for you to focus on anybody else but yourself uh, I just want to say you are allowed to enjoy what you enjoy if watching tarot readings or even receiving tarot readings love and relationship or whatever it is you're allowed to like that it's not going to prevent you from some awakening or it's not going to prevent you from your personal growth everybody's journey is different and you know some people don't want to um, work on personal development some people do and you know what their each journey is different and that is okay and if your journey looks like you have a desire for unconditional love true love uh, loving romantic partnership there's nothing wrong with that you can absolutely have that and work on yourself if you choose to so <laughs> that's basically one I wanted to say if somebody in the community is shaming you for wanting a romantic partner or uh, love romance you're allowed to like those things you're allowed to want them you're allowed to desire them if somebody else doesn't want them that that's their issue and maybe their beliefs but you do you don't worry about them okay so <laughs> that's all i have to say about that hopefully it helps somebody here okay so i have three uh stones here with uh, words on them you can choose based on the stone or the word for group one we have integrity Group two, this one's a little hard to see. It's a uh, opalite, very pretty. Focus, it says focus and yeah, it's not really focusing on the camera. <laughs> it says focus though. And group three, you have this beautiful stone here, harmony. Okay, so your timestamp will be in the description box below, and I will see you guys at your reading. Hey, group one, if you chose this integrity, whoops, uh, stone here, welcome to your reading. So I'm just going to put the oracle cards aside. We will look at these after I pull from the tarot. I'm just going to put them right here. Okay. And this is um, the Gentle Heart Tarot by uh, Vanessa Semina. 
She also has a YouTube channel if you are not familiar with her. And if you're wondering where I purchased, I'm pretty sure she has a website. She's Bow Life. And uh, I bought these from Tarot Stack. I heard from, I was watching a reading from the Hermit Tarot and I saw her talking about Tarot Stack and there's a bunch of different decks on there. So if you're not interested in like pink um, cards, <laughs> there's uh, many other decks out there. And no, this is not sponsored. <laughs> So let's see, what is going on with your person? Okay, this one wants to come through. We have the Ace of Crystals, which is the Ace of Wands in this deck have a fuzzy nine of cups seven of crystals two of cups Five of Cups, Eight of Cups, okay, Seven of Diamonds, and one more, King of Crystals, or King of Wands, okay, we'll just start here for now. Okay. Let me just sit with these cards for a moment. Okay, so what I'm getting so far is uh, whoever you're watching this for, I feel like they are uh, currently single with that Nine of Cups. It, the Nine of Cups can often talk about it's, um, being single, being fulfilled completely on your own. Uh, also, some sort of wish fulfillment or grant, wish granted here. So what I'm actually getting is that your person had to they either had to walk away from your connection or uh, a different connection of some sort here so take it as it resonates here but I feel like whatever has happened in your person's connection it this separation actually wasn't planned. Uh, they are feeling quite a bit of regret and sadness, but they also feel like it was for the best. The reason for that is because they really needed to work on themselves here because I feel like this person's, they have a lot of, uh, they have their defenses up, and um, 
and I get this was with a connection. So again, I don't know if it's your connection with your person. Maybe you guys uh, butted heads a lot or argued. There's a lot of bicking, bickering towards the end and it was just too much to deal with at the time or resolve. Or you may know that your person recently got out of something or is working on getting out of something here. I will clarify the cards too, but I am getting like a single energy coming from your person. And it's, um, they're needing to invest in themselves and invest in other things in life. And with the, um, the crystals, I feel like it's like some sort of direction they're inspired to take here. I see a lot of personal growth ha happening for your person. And it was, um, but they still, they still have that sense of regret that something didn't work out. Like a connection that they had planned or had a vision of working out. Maybe it was like there was a lot of uh, attraction, love here. So for some of you, I am getting that it's you because I still feel like they, they feel that connection with you. Um, others of you, you, if you resonate with this, it's like they had to walk away from possibly a marriage where they thought it was going to be, that it was going to last forever. It was long term. Them and that person were meant to be together and it just, uh, it was hard for them to basically walk away from but they needed to uh, there were other they really needed to invest in themselves it was like there was a lot of fighting here just a lot of having their guard up they weren't allowing themselves to be open to be seen and now they're finally taking control and responsibility for their life So I'm going to clear the one card that I'm really needing to clarify at this time, I feel is the two of cups. So I'm going to be using a different deck to clarify that, but, um, The ending of this connection could have caused a lot of pain and they feel regretful for that, but they are um, feeling pretty confident now in their single energy. So this could have been like a connection again that I'm really strongly getting that it's not you guys. It's a different connection. Now, this may, like I said, it may resonate that this is your connection they had to walk away from and they've done some work on themselves. But um, the main message that I'm getting here is they needed to walk away from a connection or possibly a marriage that was kind of keeping, they felt keeping them stuck. They were really able to be themselves or understand who they are. So your person may, be a, may have been a bit young or maybe they are young. Okay, clarify this two of cups. Why is the two of cups here? Eight of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so They were no longer wanting to invest into this connection. Again, I feel I'm really strongly feeling that it's not you guys. So even though you're asking about your person, this this may be a third party. If you're resonating with third party, I feel like this could be like third party energy here. I don't typically do readings for third parties. 
Um, just because I don't like to give third parties that energy <laughs> because we want to get rid of them, right? So whatever you focus on uh, magnifies. So, so I don't like to focus on third parties, but some of you are curious, but I am, so I am actually getting that energy is, they may have been like, may have thought that this person could have been like the love of their life again like soul connection i feel like if it's not like strong like soulmate connection with the, this third party this could be like they had children with them there's like some sort of tie and they may have thought it was like their one and only true love at the time but Things changed, and I feel like your person is actually growing at this time. So your person's doing a lot of spiritual growth with all the crystals here coming through. With the wands, this is the spiritual energy, your inner energy. It's also a lot of fire energy, um, masculine energy, which is just like taking action. Uh, some Leo Aries Sagittarius coming through with the cups we have Scorpio Scorpio Cancer Pisces I know I'm saying these all weird <laughs> and Pentacles which is um, or Diamonds which is Pentacles which would be your Earth energy Can er, Capricorn Taurus and Virgo okay so let's see what this Ace of Pentacles is. the emperor which is uh divine masculine masculine energy here also aries energy um I feel like whatever had happened with your person in this connection, it uh, really changed them because with the emperor here, it feels like they were, they felt like they had no control over life or themselves. Uh, they didn't know where they were going, what they were doing. And then that ace of crystals comes, that ace of wands and gives them some sort of inspiration. And they felt inspired to actually take action and go in a different direction here. So I feel like your person may have been receiving signs, um, you know, kind of wishing and praying for a way out of the situation because I feel like they were no longer happy. It was no longer fulfilling, even though we do have the nine of cups here upright. I feel like now they are fulfilled that they are out of they walked away. Yes, there are regrets. And I feel like it was them, like, not wanting to hurt anybody else. But in the long run, um, they know investing in themselves is, was needed, is needed. So let's clarify the Nine of Cups. The Empress. Okay, so we have the Emperor and the Empress. Divine counterparts coming through. It's feminine energy. Okay, yeah. Um, this is also Venus, which is ruled by or connected to Taurus and Libra. So, yeah, your person is really walking away from a situation where they didn't really love themselves in order to love themselves. And the Nine of Cups to me is like that Empress, that nurturing, self-loving energy here. Your person is definitely in a space of appreciating and loving themselves, working on their self-concept, their self-worth. It's a little too many here, so we're gonna clarify the Seven of Crystals. Why is the Seven of Crystals here? Strength, Leo. We have a lot of major arcana coming through. So this is a big um, change for your person. A big shift is happening as you're watching this.
Okay, so with the strength being here, your person really needed to find their inner strength and stand up for themselves, take control. They had to like fight back, not physically. And this is like more of a, you know, setting boundaries, learning to stand up for themselves, uh, step into their authenticity, their power, uh, say no if they need to say no. Yeah, so there's definitely a situation here, like some sort of connection with your person um, that they really weren't happy in. It may have seemed that way at first, but they realized it wasn't what they wanted. Now, if you, if you're saying that they were never in a romantic connection, this may be like a close friendship. The, yes, the Two of Cups can represent like harmonious love relationships, soulmates, but sometimes a soulmate could be like a best friend, um, a family member, whatever that situation is. But there is some sort of partnership that may have appeared harmonious at the very beginning and it may have been that way for a little bit but it fizzled out and your person came to realize that they weren't fulfilled they weren't happy so they had to walk away in order to fulfill themselves love themselves okay why is the five of cups here I'm also getting a message that whoever else is in this connection may have been a bit man manipulative. And again, your person needing to stand up for themselves and cut this person loose. Okay, Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is like kind of similar to she kind of reminds me of the Empress, like very loving, nurturing, uh, warm, affectionate, maternal. So it's not that your person didn't care about whoever they walked away from. They do have compassion and love for this person, but I don't feel like, yes, sometimes the... Queen of Cups represents like being in love with somebody, having a love for them, but I feel like um, this is more compassion. And they also needed to have compassion for themselves. So Queen of Cups is also um, self-aware, loves herself or himself, depending on the energy here. Nurturing towards self. The Queen of Cups has filled up her own cup and is now offering it to others. So I feel like in the space of your person having regrets here, they're also you know, trying to have compassion for themselves and nurture themselves at the same time. I feel like on some level, your person may have been a bit dependent on this other connection and now them walking away, yes, they have regrets, they feel sad, they feel, they feel that loss, but they're learning to stand on their own and provide themselves with that love. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Magician. Yeah, they were working towards something. I feel like your person has um, honestly, unconsciously manifested this whole situation here. I feel like deep down, whether or not they're aware of it now, which I feel like they are aware of it now, but back then I feel like they weren't fully aware of how unhappy and unfulfilled they were. And, um, but their, their soul knew, right? Their heart knew. Whether or not they were willing to admit it to themselves, they manifested this. 
the magician. It's also connected to Gemini and Virgo, um, ruled by Mercury, planet of communication. Now, I know we are in a Mercury retrograde at this time, but um, that may be significant. This could be happening during this Mercury retrograde, as depending on when you're watching this. I'm filming this during a retrograde. Um, but yeah, so I feel like they unconsciously manifested this shift in their life. So why is the Seven of Cups here? The Star, Wish Fulfillment. Yeah, they're working, they're investing in themselves and their dreams and their desires. They have faith. They're having faith. They're trusting that everything is working out for their highest good. They're trusting that they're being led on the right path. They're fully surrendering. At least they're trying to. They're, they're in that space, that state of surrender and faith. Now, this doesn't mean that it doesn't waver occasionally time to time, but they're definitely, they're feeling pretty positive. I'm getting like a, a huge weight has been lifted off your person's shoulders now that they, you know, are finding themselves, finding that strength, finding that inner power. And why is the king of crystals here? Why is the king of crystals here? Page of Cups. Okay, so when it comes to stepping into the, their leadership role here, they're taking it like one step at a time. Um, sometimes the Page of Cups can also represent like some sort of small emotionally emotional offering even an apology here so your person may have recently got out of something some sort of situation with an ex or whatever whatever it is here and they may be starting to come back around to you and warming up to you a bit and i don't feel like this is like manipulative they're actually there's some sort of clarity happening. Your person is taking responsibility for their actions, for their behaviors, for who they are. They're really taking a look at themselves. Your person is definitely working on their happiness. I'm not necessarily getting like a specific goal here that they have in mind, like um, work related. I feel like this is all just like their self, their inner self here. Like their emotional, physical, mental, spiritual well-being. This is what I'm picking up on, like the whole of it. Not necessarily working on business. Just working towards... A better version of them. Another message that I'm getting with this is that they're taking it one step at a time with themselves. Um, learning to forgive themselves for any behaviors and decisions they have made that may not have been for the highest good in the past. So we're going to jump into your Oracle cards and see what else we have here. 
Okay, first off, we have contact. So that may be a specific message for you if you guys are hoping for like some sort of communication here. I know I did say in the beginning, this may be like a no contact situation. So this may be uh, shifting. We have surrender to spirits. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. Yeah, they're, they're having faith here. This reminds me of the star card. They're giving it, they're surrendering this. Um, having faith in the divine that everything is working out for them. We have action, number 17. So they are taking action in their life. They're working towards something here. They're feeling that inspiration to move forward. We also have number 37, third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. And this is um, the solar plexus. This is about your personal power, your belief system, setting boundaries. They are definitely stepping into their personal power. This is also like connected to your self-worth. Where am I going to put? <laughs> I'm just going to put this here. Okay. And we have 44 strength. Uh, two cards of strength here. Yeah. Your person is definitely uh, in a good space vibrationally, like a lot better. Before it was heavy. It was burden. And now it's, um, they're working on regaining their strength. We also have health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So whatever has happened with your person, I feel like they felt, again, they're working on their mental, physical, spiritual, emotional well-being, right? So whatever was happening in the past, it was really taking a toll on their health. And I feel like they are regaining that strength as well within, like, to, like, they're building their health. They're taking care of their body um, and their emotions. Stress, stress puts a lot of um, pressure on us and really can cause a lot of harm for our bodies. And this is when your person knew it was time to walk away from this. Like it was, it was too much for them. I feel like it got to the point where, yes, they knew they were going to have regrets. They knew it was going to be a loss that they were going to have to grieve. But overall, it was like your person couldn't, couldn't fight it anymore. And they needed to. Because what I'm hearing is your person coming through and saying it was like it was killing them inside. Okay, so let's uh, move into our messages. Okay, where's my message cards here? So this is where your person is currently at, what is going on with them. And let's see what they would like to, some of my cards here are backwards. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let me just uh, fix these. I dropped these earlier and they're just all over the place. Okay. I think we're good.
get a couple more. One more. I'm not going to pull too many messages today. Okay, and as I say that, 50 billion <laughs> file the floor. We have, I'm sorry I wasn't honest with you, I was in a bad place. So you may have asked about the situation and they didn't want to talk about it. Maybe they just stopped speaking to you because they were in a bad place. I have never stopped loving you. I'm sorry things ended the way they did. So yeah, for some of you, this may be your connection that they had to walk away from. Uh, you could have been with this person like way in the past in your younger years. And maybe now that you're older, you guys went your separate ways, experience life or whatever the situation is, are possibly finally coming back together. Um, but again, the main message that I am picking up on is that this connection wasn't the two of you. Now, this doesn't mean that they didn't have feelings for you because they, if you know this person, I feel like they're saying they have always had feelings for you, regardless of whatever connection they were in. I'm trying to connect with you, but you won't let me in. I respect the boundaries you set in place. So... If you have cut this person off because maybe they have said some hurtful things and were, was a little bit harsh, they may have tried to reconnect with you and you may have said, you know, now is not the time. I don't want to speak with you. I don't want to do this right now. Please, you know, leave me alone or stop contacting me. I feel like they... The reason why they're not reaching out may be because they are respecting a boundary when you have said, please, you know, leave me alone. I feel like your person is respecting that. I have been doing shadow work since you triggered me. So they have been going within and taking a look at themselves since uh, something was something happened between the two of you. You have no idea how stunning you are. They find you very beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to pull a few more from this little messages deck. So I feel like on some level, the two of you are actually curious about each other so that nobody's uh, making a move at this time. But with the action and the contact here, I feel like they're thinking of some sort of communication because we do have a telephone here. Okay, what else do they want to say to you? Get three. Okay. You inspire me to be the best version of myself. I just want to see you happy. So no matter what happens, they want you to be happy. It's easier to stay away than get my heart broken. So they are worried about having their heart broken. Okay, 
So we're going to jump into our initials now. We have D. I'm just gonna put these over here actually. O. M. Dom. Somebody here might be named Dominic. E. Dome. J. T, J, T, U, we have another U, a Y, I'm seeing, uh, nope, never mind, I've, I, I heard, oh yeah, okay, I am seeing the name Tom as well. I, I'm also getting Tommy, even though we don't have the other M, but maybe they spell it differently. We have another O. N. And C. Okay, so this is all I have for you, group one. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if it didn't resonate, you can always choose group two or group three and subscribe if you enjoy love and relationship readings. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group two, if you chose this focused opalite, welcome to your reading. So I'm just going to put your all oracle cards aside here and we're gonna jump into the tarot and see what your person is up to if you are curious about this deck here uh, I got it on tarot stack it's the Gentle Heart Tarot by Vanessa Semina. She also has a YouTube channel, if you're familiar with her. That is where I bought this deck from. So I'm clear, I'm going, going to be, I can't speak. <laughs> going to be clarifying with a different tarot deck. Okay, what is going on with Group 2's person currently? What are they working on? Let's do a bit of spying. Three of crystals, three of wands, six of cups. Ten of crystals, which is ten of wands, the emperor. Nine of Crystals, Wheel of Fortune, Page of Diamonds, and Queen of Diamonds.
Okay. So with the Emperor energy here, that is Aries coming through. Wheel of Fortune. This is Jupiter, which is uh, Sagittarius. Okay, so, and also in this card, the symbols we have, uh, we have Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. So those may be significant for you guys. Anyways. Your person currently, I feel, is so, going through some sort of uh, definitely a lesson here with that Wheel of Fortune. I, your person, I feel like, is either they're going through they're definitely in a cycle there's like some sort of karma here a lesson a very valuable lesson and i feel like this is like something also from the past i feel like this is a lesson that they're they keep repeating because the six of cups here this is all about our past so i feel like your person with the three of crystals here they're trying to plan and look towards the future but the past keeps coming up for them and It's very heavy. It's very, they feel very burdened by something from the past. Even though they're trying to move on, they're trying to move forward. Something, some sort of, which I'm going to clarify. So, but yeah, something from the past. Now this could be you. If this, if you've known them, if you have history with them, uh, this may be you coming through. Uh, but there's definitely some sort of past energy that keeps coming up. And it's really having an effect on your person. Um, they're feeling pretty drained by this. We have the nine of crystals and the ten of crystals. This is like definitely feeling exhausted. This is like still moving forward. But it's like... heavy and then this is like really like even worse feeling even worse so I feel like this feeling of discomfort discomfort has um, progressed to a point now where it's basically it's hard to ignore this lesson this cycle this pattern is really staring them in the face like hey you can't escape me now. You have to deal with me. You have to look at me. Uh, we're doing this. There's no escaping this. But I feel like with that emperor here, your person is still trying to, on the surface, control the outcome, control the situation, control how this goes. I also feel like they may all be putting on some sort of mask as well. They may seem, if you look at them, if you if you talk to them, if you have like minimal contact with them, I feel like they're not um, they're not sharing this information with you. It's very they they're hiding it. They're definitely hiding it, and it's but they are learning a lesson, a very uncomfortable lesson here. And with the page of diamonds and the queen of diamonds next to each other, I do feel like this is some sort of growth that is happening. Because the page is like the, the child of the deck where the queen, the king are the adults. So there is like some sort of growth that is happening here for your person. And... It's, they can't escape it at this point. But I feel like your person still doesn't want to really look at this. 
um, even though it's uncomfortable, they're still trying to avoid it. They're still trying to look to the future here. But this keeps coming up and they can't. They can't. <laughs> they can't run from it. They're trying, but they can't. I also get the sense that your person is hoping or looking for some sort of support here with that queen of diamonds, like some sort of stability in their life. Um, I feel like your person is the type of person that doesn't like things in complete chaos. Uh, there's some people that can do just fine in it. I feel like your person needs to have or likes to have some sort of sense of control in their life. They need to know what's going on. They, they like to have a plan. The three of crystals here is about planning. Uh, even the two pentacles here, this is like a new beginning, like working towards manifesting something, right? And this is like somebody who is stable, has their shit together. So I feel like your person really doesn't like to lose control. And, but, um, internally, uh, spiritually, they're a mess at this time. So I'm going to shuffle these cards and we're going to clarify each card here. I'm also getting with that nine of crystals that your person is completely stubborn. You see in this card here, this person's wounded. Uh, usually when you're wounded, you, there's supposed to be a resting period, right? To, so everything can heal. You can regain your strength. Um, but this person, they're, they're still going. So it's like your person doesn't doesn't want to sit in this. They're stubborn. They want to keep going. They don't want to face this. But it's inevitable. They're going to have to face it. I'm getting a sense of like a control freak. And I don't mean that in like a judgmental, hurtful, negative way. I just mean like somebody that... Even I get like that sometimes, honestly. Like, I <laughs> I get uncomfortable when it comes to losing control. I feel like on some level, we all do. Um, or at least most of the people I've encountered in my life, you know, like to have a handle on things. I don't think I've ever personally met somebody who's, like, going through a complete you know, shit storm and they're like, okay, great. I got this. Let's do this. Like <laughs> they're uncomfortable, right? It's it really, when things shake up your life, it's uncomfortable. So it's definitely not meant in a judgmental way. Although your person, if that resonates with you, well, they may be like that. Maybe they like everything in order, everything in control. They don't like to lose control. Makes them uncomfortable. I feel like their soul here is trying to get their attention. Give them a message here like, hey, you need to deal with this. We can't, we can't run from this anymore. We need to face this. And your person's like, no, I don't want to. Uh, it'll go away. It'll pass. It always passes. But you know what? It never passes. Something in their life happens, which keeps bringing up this cycle that they need to face. Okay, so let's clarify three of crystals first. Five of cups.
there's some sort of regret here. And I feel like, again, like something from the past they feel regret, uh, grief, sorrow, sadness from, that the reason why they're looking to the future is because they don't want to face this. It's too uncomfortable for them. It's painful. They don't want to deal with it. Some sort of ending. It may have even been the loss of somebody close to them. Okay, let's clarify the Six of Cups. Nine of Swords. This is definitely like the Nightmares Anxiety card. Um, yeah, they're past. Oh, your person is so uncomfortable at this moment. They have a lot of anxiety coming up here about the past. Like the past is literally haunting them to the point they're having nightmares. Like they, their soul is screaming at them. Okay, clarify 10 of crystals. That's a 10 of crystals here. Empress. Hmm. I feel like your person, um, is uncomfortable when it comes to feminine energy. Now this may be their own feminine energy or feminine energy around them, like receiving that nurturing, unconditional love, that support, even though, like I said, they're, they're desiring it with that queen of pentacles. This may be somebody that's supporting them, but they, they feel burden so something in the past regarding like mother like some sort of mother wound perhaps um or a past love a female feminine energy from the past may be triggering to this person um even just allowing themselves to feel love they feel uncomfortable so let's clarify the emperor Knight of Cups. Hmm. Okay, this is like an emotional offering. Um, it may also represent romance as well. Your person likes to be in charge when it comes to uh, connections. I feel like this is the type of person that wants to be the one that makes the first move. They also may feel like they have to offer like some sort of explanation, some sort of, like they have to come forward with some sort of emotional offering. Or they're feeling the need to. But I'm also getting that they're holding back from doing this. Let's get one more. Emperor. We have King of Wands. Yeah, this is definitely somebody that likes to be in control. Your person doesn't like to lose control. They're losing control. I feel like there's there's feelings here with that Knight of Cups. Um, some sort of possibly even romantic feelings coming through. And they're needing to step into their power, but this is like an, the the wands is like your internal world. So they really need to go within because their soul is trying to get their attention. So why is the nine of crystals here? 
the high priestess yeah their intuition definitely definitely guys intuition is telling them there's there's a wound here there's there's trauma there's pain there's something that needs healing and their intuition is screaming at them is telling them this it's also telling them this in their dreams Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Death. Scorpio. There is definitely a transformation happening, an ending. And I feel like this is an ending to this cycle. This is... It, it, you can't... You can't run from this. <laughs> Alright. This is happening for your person, whether they like it or not. They can fight it all they want. It's just going to be even more uncomfortable for them. And I really feel like... I know sometimes if somebody has hurt us in the past, we may be like, oh good, it's about time they got their karma. But what I'm really feeling is that... Um, I'm feeling kind of, you know, sad for your person. Like they need somebody to hold space for them during this time because it is really painful. This may even be like a, a dark night of the soul that they're going through. And if you've ever ever experienced that, I don't really think we would... When you come out of on the other side of a dark night of the soul, the spiritual awakening, when you finally find yourself, you gain a new perspective. Um, hold on, we're about to be interrupted. All right, guys, sorry about that. Um, so, we know if you, again, if you've ever experienced this and you've come out on the other side, no matter how long it has taken you to finally get to that place where you can look back on the experience of the dark night of the soul and be like, you know what, that has really helped me for the better. Um, Maybe on some level you feel gratitude towards the experience, even though you knew in the moment you were going through it, it was hell. But right now your person is going through their own personal hell here. Um, and I feel like they don't know how to face it. They don't, they don't know what's happening and it's, it's a lot. And I'm actually <laughs> tearing up here um, because your person is, they're scared. They don't know what's going on. It's uncomfortable. They don't want to face it. Um, it's just, it's a lot for them, but it's inevitable. They can't run. So I feel like what we can do during this time is hold space for the people we love as they're going through something like this. And maybe that's all they need is just like those. If you're watching this and this is somebody that you care about and you love, uh, maybe you're not in contact with them currently. And this may be why they're not reaching out to you, by the way. Um, because they're they're going through some shit it's not personal uh this may be connect this experience may be connected to you but this is definitely not personal here um they're hurting so um what you can do if you can't reach out to them during this time is send love send like healing vibes if you are into energy healing and reiki send them that healing energy here we see that they're wounded right so send them that love that compassion that kindness that warmth that sense of peace to help ease them through this 
to make it a little less painful. Okay, so let's clarify the page of diamonds. Why is the page of diamonds here? We have the tower reversed. Okay, this is Mars energy uh, connected to Scorpio again and Aries. Now, Scorpio is all about transformation. Um, we have Aries twice, by the way. So, yeah, a lot of fiery energy here. But this is like something life changing here. But I feel like they're trying to they're trying to avoid it. <laughs> they're trying to hold on as much as possible to not experience their entire life as they know it falling apart. Like everything is falling apart for them. It's for the best. It's like the tower and the death card here. It's like, ooh, those are cards like when you see them in a reading, you're like, oh, damn. But at the end of the day, at the end of this experience, um, they might not see this now. But it is definitely, they're going through one hell of a transformation. And it's good for them. Um, on a deeper level. They need this. They need to release whatever they're holding on to. This is the key. So why is the queen of diamonds here? Ace of Wands. The Queen of Diamonds here. The Ace of Wands is somebody that's like not taking any action. Your person has been feeling stuck here. I also feel like holding on to any sort of support they can with that Queen of Diamonds. Looking for support, but they're, they're scared. To do this alone they they don't want this change it's scary they they don't know what's on the other side of it right it may be something like i said very beautiful like a one heck of a transformation they don't see it they're they're terrified but um they were feeling stuck they were stuck in this pattern They didn't have any clarity. They didn't. It's this is needed on like their soul is screaming for this. So let's get into your Oracle cards and see what we have. We have winter and this is like frozen stuck. Um, I feel like your person is scared. Winter may be significant for your person too. It may be like when their birthday is. Um, but I also feel like they're frozen, scared, terrified, having a lot of anxiety. We have acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. So they are learning some radical accept acceptance here. We have number 25, deceit. Oh yeah, you guys got an extra card. We have number 16, patience. Number 49, Talisman. Okay, so with the Talisman card, this is like talking about gaining that inner wisdom. The deceit, I feel like, like I said, they were trying to keep on a, put on a brave face. Like this isn't bothering them, but it is bothering them. So I feel like your person is hiding behind a mask. And again, they're not, they're not showing you this side. They're not showing you the complete personal hell they're going through. We have surrender unhealthy relationships and it says let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treated, treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. So your person is letting unhealthy, toxic relationships, partnerships, family, even friendships go. And this may have been the cycle. Maybe since childhood they were always in like unhealthy toxic relationships and we also have surrender to your soul's path your life's journey 
has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. Now, I feel your person, <laughs> obviously, doesn't feel like embracing it at this time. And you know, I'm pretty sure, like I said, when you're facing something really difficult and challenging, you're not going to be like, oh, cool. This is great. This is fun. You're going to be like, what the fuck? This sucks. And that is okay. You don't have to be all like happy and cheerful about every uncomfortable experience. You're allowed to be uncomfortable. You're allowed to sit in your feelings. But I feel like, like I said, their soul is screaming here. <laughs> they're going through, they're going through like an ego death, like some a transformation. A lot of healing is happening for your person. Much needed, much needed healing. So let's get into some messages and see what they would tell you if they could. One thing they have to learn is that acceptance that they can't change possibly the past. They can't make other people change. They can't change certain connections. Uh, relationships with other people. I feel like maybe people in their past, we were talking about unhealthy relationships here and deceit. Um, there may have been a lot of people that stabbed them in the back. It were very hurtful to them. And I feel like with that patience card, their, their guides, their angels are with them at this time trying to comfort them but they are definitely going to gain some sort of lesson and um, wisdom out of this I definitely see that your person is coming out the other side once they actually face this and like I said it's inevitable they can't um, they can't run from this anymore They're, it's going to be really good for them Okay, so what do they want to say to you at this time? Oh, oh. Take those. <laughs> Try not to pull too many messages today. Ooh, okay. okay. One more. So what do we have here? I have been doing shadow work since you triggered me. So they are having to do, they're, they're facing those shadows. I feel like they're starting to learn that they can't run from this anymore. I respect the boundaries you set in place. I've never gotten over you. Am I too late? Oh. This person has feelings for you. They may be reflecting on you and them from the past. You have no idea how long I've wanted you. I thought a lot about what I would say to you. Okay, so even in their darkest moments, they still think of you. So this whole catalyst to change may be connected to you, maybe not. Maybe you're that, that light in this dark place. If not this lifetime, then the next one. I am sending you signs. Are you receiving them? I feel like they're trying to connect with you because they, they're trying to find that peace, that balance. You are too cute. They think you're adorable. So I'm going to pull three messages from this deck here. I never meant to hurt you. I was just caught up in my own mess. 
So they're trying to, they're aware of the mess that they have caused. I've been checking your social media, so they are trying to check up on you, see what you're up to, see how you're doing. I feel like you bring some sort of comfort to them. Even if you've triggered them, there is some sort of like peace that you bring. Even just looking at your picture, they think you're adorable. I'm just not ready. I need more time to find myself. So they still feel like they're not fully ready because they're going through all of this. Again, it's nothing personal. Um, they do care about you, but they're going through a lot. So we're going to jump into your initials. Okay. We have J. T. Came out in group one, two. V. G. E. I'm seeing vet, veg. Maybe somebody here is a vegan or a vegetarian. Uh, loves animals. Obviously, if you're vegan. Uh, I, I'm also seeing EI if you're Canadian. <laughs> uh, somebody here might be on EI. Maybe somebody, maybe somebody here is literally injured and is on um, employment insurance to heal. Uh, we have T. N. E. Another N. Nine. The number nine might be significant. We have O. Okay, so this is a, oh, wait, one more. M, <laughs> nom, French for name. <laughs> no, so getting, there's a cookie monster that's like nom, nom, nom. <laughs> okay, person's trying to have a sense of humor during their darkest time here. <laughs> or maybe they really like cookie monster. Anyways, they love food. They like to eat. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is all I have for you, group two. I hope it was helpful, and be sure to subscribe if you enjoy love and relationship readings. You can also book a personal reading with me. My The link is in the description box. It's available on my website. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next reading. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey group three, if you chose this harmony stone here, welcome to your reading. So before we dive into these oracles, I will pull these after the tarot. I'm just going to set them here and we're going to jump in and see um, what your person is up to at this time. What they're healing, what they're working through. Just doing a little bit of spying. And if you're curious to know this deck here, this is the Gentle Heart Tarot by Vanessa Semina. She has a channel here on YouTube and she also has her, I believe it's her own company, Bow Life. Um, I didn't find these on her website. I actually found these through Tarot Stack, which I heard from watching a reading from the Hermit Tarot. She was mentioning Tarot Stack and I just loved the cards she was using. It wasn't these cards, it was a different deck, but I found these on there so I was really excited. My favorite colors are pink and purple. Okay, but they do have other cards on there if you're not, you know, if pink isn't your cup of tea. <laughs> they, have, they have different things there. All right, and no, this is not sponsored. I just love cards, and I have a bunch of decks. Oh, 
Okay, so what is currently going on with Grip Street person at this time? What are they working through? What's up with them? We have Five of Crystals, which is the Five of Wands in this deck. The crystals are the wands, the diamonds are the pentacles, uh, cups are still cups, and I believe the swords are swords still. It's a fairly new deck for me, so. Knight of Cups. Five of Swords. Yeah, so cups and swords are still the same. Uh, judgment. The Devil, Temperance, The Hermit, Ooh, wow, lots of big things going on with your person, and one more, Knight of Diamonds, okay, I'm just going to double check what um, Judgment represents, it could be... A can't remember if it was could have been Saturn or Neptune. So let me double check. Saturn is the world. Pluto. Okay, Pluto. So that also reminds uh, Pluto also rules um, Scorpio as well. And for our other signs, we have Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Scorpio too, with the water in the Temperance, Virgo, and. I believe that's it. So cups are Pisces, Cancer as well, and the crystals, just wands is the fire energy, Aries, Leo, Leo, Sagittarius, and swords. Basically, we have all the signs here, but the ones with the major arcana here is we have Pluto, uh, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Virgo coming through. Okay. So I kind of feel like all the groups are somewhat similar. So there must be something going on within the collective here uh, at this time that you're watching this or at the time I'm recording this. Uh, with the judgment here, this is like some sort of awakening, spiritual awakening, and karma as well. So I feel like your person is learning some very valuable lessons with the with the five of crystals, the five of swords, and the devil here. The, these are like internal conflicts and mental conflicts happening. I feel like your person, um, they may also be having issues connecting with other people. Like it's just not... Um, very harmonious at this time. They're like butting heads with other people, uh, arguing. I'm getting like a lot of aggression, aggression in their uh, personal connections lately, or just it just seems like that's also the view that they have. Like they might be thinking themselves like, uh, "What the hell's going on with everybody? Why is everybody so miserable?" Like that type of energy. But I also get the sense that your person is, I feel like your person is going through some sort of a detox with the judgment and the devil. And they're really facing their shadows. So I don't know if this, your person has like some sort of like addiction or, um, negative pattern toxic pattern and healthy pattern it may also be like they just have some unhealthy habits or patterns here that they're needing to work through so they may have had like a bit of a health scare recently uh that you know really brought something to light here so the devil can also talk about illusions fears um temptations 
But with the temperance and the hermit here, this is somebody that's really needing, like really having to do some soul searching. This also reminds me of Pluto um, as well. Like that uncomfortable, icy, like really uncomfortable feeling. And with the two fives, this is like a lot of uncomfortable energy happening here. So the good news is, uh, I feel like because this is recent, your person is just kind of like taking their time. I feel like right now they're actually too scared to like, they're still in that fear stage and conflicting energies because I feel like your person's world on some level has been a bit turned upside down. I know we don't have like the, the tower here or the death card. Um, but there is like an energy of your person's really needing to take some downtime and reflect on some sort of um, pattern or habit in their life or even like a belief system. So I'm going to be clarifying all of these because the, the one card that's like really standing out that like seems to be pretty pleasant and kind of emotional is this Knight of Cups. And I'm not really getting that uh, this is like making a romantic gesture to somebody. I feel like with all the other cards here, I'm not necessarily getting like a romance vibe here. Now, it doesn't mean they don't have feelings for you. They may have feelings, but what I am getting from this uh, card here is that your person is led by their emotions. That, that gut feeling, what their heart is telling them to do. This is somebody that I feel like is a bit intuitive also with the temperance here as well and the hermit. Um, so your person is really relying on where their emotions are leading them and they are definitely an emotional person, whether or not they, they show that they may not openly tell you that, oh yeah, you know, I'm, I, I always follow my heart. I always do what my gut tells me. I feel like they may seem like they do th things logically and but definitely their emotions. They make decisions based on their emotions. They are led by their emotions. So whatever happened here, I feel like they're trying to rely on their emotions for answers. And they're also doing like this soul searching because there was something here with a pattern or belief or habit that wasn't beneficial for your person. But they're really not uh, in a hurry to get to the answers. <laughs> uh, with that Knight of Diamonds, this is like one step at a time. Actually, what just came to mind, my mind as I said that, they may be in like some sort of 12-step program recently entered into a 12-step program or like looking into starting a 12-step program and uh, yeah they're just trying to decide how they feel about that because something happened here with your person like they had some sort of awakening with a pattern or habit And I feel like it brought up a lot of internal conflict and scared them. And now they're needing to take re-examine their life and take a decide, you know, where it is they actually want to go. And whether or not they feel good about that decision. 
They're checking in with their emotions. Does this feel good to go in this direction? Does this feel good? Which direction do I take? Okay, so I'm going to do some clarifying. There may have been other people also involved uh, in these unhealthy habits or patterns. Um, maybe some people around them were influencing them. Because usually in the five of Chris or five of wands and the five of swords, you see it. Uh, the one person, like a bunch of people fighting. If this is a relationship and this is a relationship comes to mind for you, uh, this may be like having conflicts and issues and personal relationships that aren't uh, very healthy. the stress could have gotten to your person as well. But for some reason, what I'm picking up on is like a 12 step program. Or some sort of like community as well, where they're trying to receive some sort of guidance and take it one step at a time for healing. So a lot of healing coming through these readings today. Okay, let's clarify the five of crystals. Ace of pentacles. Yeah, your person's having an internal struggle here, but something, there's another offer coming in for your person. A benef Something beneficial for them that's going to help them. It's like that, you know when you're asking for a sign or you want to go in a different, some, like some direction and you need help, like guidance, and you're kind of asking the universe or your spirit guides or whoever, like... I really want to do this. I really need to do this, but I don't know where to start. It's like manifestation here. Uh, some sort of offer is being presented to your person out of nowhere as they're going through this internal struggle. And it's like this blessing comes through. Okay, so let's clarify the Knight of Cups. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy, uh, the card of luck and expansion. Yeah, there's uh, them relying on their emotions and making decisions based on their emotions has really worked for them uh, in the past. So this is something that they know is good for them following their intuition, following their heart, their inner guidance. And so for the Five of Swords, we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, your person's wanting to move forward really quickly, and I feel like this is, they're kind of having those thoughts the, the, that internal conversation and it's like there's some doubts here about them moving forward but again that's why they're trying to trust their heart space they're not trying to listen to those logical thoughts because they're a lot of the, their thoughts aren't uh, very healthy and are based in fear and negativity but they are definitely wanting to move forward I also feel like if they're talking about making this big change with other people and 
with the Knight of Swords, this is like quick, like all of a sudden to me, like a very quick change. I feel like people around them, some people might not receive this uh, news from your person well. You may want to talk them out of it again, like that, those unhealthy connections. Because these are people that the Five of Swords is conflicts. So I feel like somebody in their life is trying to talk them down and isn't being supportive, but they're relying on their own guidance and their higher self. I'm kind of getting the energy of, since I'm mentioning other people, friends that or community, people around them that are a bit fake, that don't truly have their best interests at heart, and just um, very unsupportive with a decision that they're making to actually like do better for themselves. There's somebody in your person's life or people that I feel like are hoping that your person fails, that don't want to see them heal this. So, but they're, they're doing it anyways, just very slowly. Um, But yeah, that's uh, one message that I have coming through. Somebody around your person isn't very supportive. And I feel like this may be somebody close to them. So if your person has like some sort of like substance abuse or like addiction, gambling addiction, maybe even like a, <coughs> excuse me, like a sex addiction addiction or anything um, it could be tied to other people and they don't want to see your person do well for themselves and heal because it makes those other people uncomfortable and insecure so definitely some energy of sabotage here Okay, why is judgment here? Queen of Swords. Yeah, some sort of truth is being revealed to your person. And the judgment is also about like some sort of truth and clarity here. Um, I feel like somebody had delivered to your person some very blunt, uh, possibly harsh news. Not to be like a bitch or, or an ass or anything. Not to be mean, but I feel like it was something that they didn't necessarily want to hear. It was uncomfortable and it was very, I feel like shocking on some level. Like this person didn't sugarcoat whatever news for your person that they needed to make some sort of change. The way <laughs> that the news was delivered was not um, light and fluffy. Why is the devil here? Queen of Wands. Okay. Two queens here. This may be like a same sex connection. Just throwing that out there. Hmm. So I'm getting whatever behavior it was, it felt good at the time. It was like a way of not addressing any pain. Again, this could have been like somebody sleeping around even. Um, alcohol, you know, when you're tipsy or buzzed or even drunk, maybe you don't really care what's going on and it feels good at the time. Even though deep down, if they're struggling, it doesn't 
it's really not all that good but there there's like some sort of numbing here that's is bringing some sort of pleasure that's kind of like keeping them blind that was keeping them blind and this could be another person like somebody that seems like very subjective and um somebody they're sleep they were sleeping with or lusting after and it was basically like sex only i'm gonna clarify one more with the queen of wands why is the devil here oh death okay scorpio um why i always pick up on scorpio it's like scorpios i don't know if you guys like i see a lot in the comments about people like mentioning scorpios as well and like capricorns okay yeah there's the end of a cycle here end of some sort of toxic pattern or behavior or belief system something that was very tempting and sexual so this may have been like a connection where they were taking part in some sort of unhealthy pattern or making unhealthy decisions your person and another person and it was very tempting it felt good I feel like Whatever this connection here was, it's definitely, it's meaningless. It's an illusion. It's fake. It's nothing. Um, it's not healthy. So if you're sitting here and you're thinking, oh, my, I know my person has a, like, a guy or girl or whoever on the side and you feel like it's unhealthy, um, I'm getting here that, yes, it is unhealthy and it's, things are unfolding and your person is moving on they've had some sort of awakening that this isn't serving them it's not healthy it's actually keeping them stuck whoever they're surrounding themselves with is no good it's tempting but it's no good like if you have ever <laughs> If you've ever had like let's say somebody you want to hook up with like they're really attractive and that sort of thing but you know deep down like this may even be an ex that it's not good but maybe they're good at certain things <laughs> and that's what you're thinking of that's what you're fantasizing about so you just you just keep hooking up with them knowing that it's only gonna bring pain that may be your person's situation as well, but yeah, there's, yeah. Okay, moving on, you guys get the point. <laughs> okay, why is temperance here? Eight of Pentacles, okay, yeah, their, their focus is being directed elsewhere here. Uh, they're putting more focus on themselves, like hardworking, trying to master something. I feel like they're trying to master themselves and really find that peace and balance within and that healing. And it's taking a lot of patience as well. But they're actually dedicated to moving forward because they know that the situation is no longer, it's not good. Why is Hermit here? Chariot. Yep. Willpower moving forward. Uh, they're really finding their inner strength here and courage to actually go within and face um, their demons and their shadow. Those unhealthy decisions that they've been making. I feel like your person is also really trying to rely on some sort of willpower to not fall back into this pattern here. But they're definitely doing some 
introspection. But it's good. They may feel like they're stuck or not moving forward, but this is actually moving them forward. And I feel like this blessing came just at the right time where they needed it, where it was like desperately needed for their health. Why is the Knight of Diamonds here? Eight of Cups. Yeah, they're walking away from something. Slowly. They're slowly moving forward, but they're leaving this behind. They definitely have plans to leave this behind. It's taking a lot of strength and courage, willpower. It's taking a lot, but they are they are moving forward, which is good. That's very good. That's amazing. All right, so let's take a look at your oracle cards and see what we have here. All right, we have patience. It's like temperance card. Number 47, the thinking woman. Uh, number 12. The Temple Path. We have number 48, Wishing Well. Uh, we have Loneliness here. I know that I am never alone. And this reminds me of the Hermit card where it feels like very, you know, that solitude energy. A little lonely but this is actually they know that they can rely on their higher self and call on whatever archangels whoever they believe in uh, God goddesses they're calling on those they know that they're they're not truly alone even though they kind of feel it feel like it right now because they're again if the, connected to other people they're having to leave these people so it's definitely a change for your person but it's for the better because they're actually going to be able to connect with people on a healthy level like have, build those healthy connections moving forward so we have surrender your fear of change and this says the universe is reminding you that you are that you are cared for always whether you're afraid of a change in your job your health or relationship or if you fear aging or death repeat the affirmation i have faith that all is well so this is scary for your person again like that awakening i feel like i said your person was delivered like some sort of news that really shook up their life and caused this introspection so somebody yeah, somebody, the, <laughs> oh my goodness, somebody here delivered some news to your person that was very uncomfortable and really had them taking a look at themselves and their choices, their habits, their lifestyle. This may have been, may have been like a family member, close friend, but there was somebody here that is supportive that meant well when they delivered this news yes the queen of swords may be harsh but she is very truthful she's blunt now this doesn't have to be a woman that delivered this news it may be a man uh this may even have been like a even like a boss if they're struggling at their job or like some sort of health care provider somebody here didn't sugarcoat anything and went straight to the point and explained something to your person about their choices. And I feel like this scared your person. And with these cards here, this is like, they're going, they're definitely going within here. They're like reflecting 
<coughs> on their choices. Sorry, my throat's a little dry. And this wishing well, this reminds me of them putting that, that desire, that wish out to the universe. Um, maybe even like praying, not necessarily that they have to go to a church or anything or get down on their knees and pray, but I feel like they're in whatever form they choose, like they're doing some sort of prayer or even affirmation um, that brings about this blessing, that manifestation that I need to change. I need to make a change here in my life because the path I'm going down is not, uh, it's not healthy. It's not beneficial. It's going to cause a lot of harm, but I don't know where to go. I don't know what I'm doing and I'm scared and they're putting that wish out there and they're receiving it. It's coming. Those, their answers, that guidance to move forward is coming. They might be at a grocery store, at uh, a library, walking down the street and they see some sort of ad or billboard or like somebody passes them a flyer saying, hey, I'm like holding this group for whatever and your person's like, oh my God, that's like the answer I'm looking for. Um, not, I'm not getting like <laughs> a cult or anything, not like that, but like somebody supportive, they're finding the answers and I feel like it's it's coming in the most uh, natural way where but they know as soon as it comes they know it's what they were looking for so we're going to jump into some messages from your person and see what they would like to tell you at this time if they could So overall, uh, this is beautiful energy. The person's doing some much needing, much needed healing at this time. I feel like they feel like, um, they know, like I said, they know they're not alone, but there is like that loneliness because they may have to cut certain people out of their life in order to heal and move forward. Like I said, there's somebody or people around them that aren't supportive. Like they appear supportive because they look like friends, but they're not. They may have been using your person for some sort of personal gain. Keeping your person in some sort of toxic pattern or unhealthy habit, behavior. What does group three's person want to say to group three? I tried calling many times, but I hang up when you answer. So if you've been getting like really weird phone calls where there's breathing on the other end or you know that um, you answer, you get a call from an unknown number or a blocked number and when you pick up, they hang up, it's your person. I've never stopped loving you. I'm sending signs, are you seeing them?
Commitment scares me a little. So this could have been them, again, like I had mentioned earlier, hooking up, having like random hookups. Um, there may be a fear of a commitment there. I like to be playful. You bring out my inner child. This may have also been a person who is a bit jealous of you because they see how playful and um, fun and warm they are around you. So maybe they, they could have told your person to cut you off. You may have been like some sort of support system for you, for your person and the other people here that don't have your person's best interest at heart, um, convince your person to cut you off so they could take advantage. I stay away because you told me to. Okay. You may have cut your person off because of their behaviors. I'm trying to connect with you, but you won't let me in. I'm going to be clarifying. I'm sorry that things ended. I'm sorry things ended the way they did. I want to start as friends and grow from there. So they do want to build a friendship with you again. I don't know how, I don't know what a healthy relationship looks like. Yeah, we did see that. Um, there is some, there is unhealthy relationships in your person's life. Okay, so I'm going to clarify what possibly went down between the two of you. That they feel you cut them off, or you did. What happened between group one, or group one, sorry, group three and their person? I'm filming this, your part, on a, <laughs> a separate day, so it feels kind of like a new reading. <laughs> okay. What happened between group three and their person? Why does group three think, why does... Why does group three's person think group three doesn't want to speak to them? Why does group three's person have this belief? What happened? Ooh, we have the page of cups in reverse. And okay. The moon, ten of cups. All right. So with the moon here being a uh, feminine energy and emotions, just like uh, Pisces energy can also rep represent cancer as well. Um, and with the two cups here, this is water, definitely a lot of emotions. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming through. I feel like somebody was emotionally unstable or unavailable and also a bit immature when it came to their emotions. I feel like this was your person because I'm not getting it was you because they feel like you cut them off. Um. They weren't truly expressing to you how they actually felt. They do want the Ten of Cups. They did want the Ten of Cups. Um, again, they don't know what that healthy relationship looks like. Now, this doesn't excuse their behavior by any means if they were acting immature. I feel like whatever happened here is going to help your person move forward to, you know, gain that clarity, gain that maturity, and really work on themselves to come around and actually be ready for that Ten of Cups. They do love you. I feel like they don't know fully how, what unconditional love looks like. And whatever feelings, I feel like your person actually hid how deep their feelings are for you. 
they tried to play it off and they may have even told you I don't want anything serious um, they may have been like I just want to be friends with benefits because we were picking up on that you know that sleeping around type vibe so this may have been somebody that played down their feelings here but yeah you weren't having it if that if that is your story now that's not going to resonate with everybody it may only resonate with a few of you but for some of you who cut your person off it was because they weren't emotionally available or expressing themselves like you could have been there saying hey I want to communicate I want to talk about our feelings I want to build a relationship with you but your person just wasn't opening up they're more they weren't allowing you in I'm getting a bit of like self-sabotaging energy as well because they do want that ten of cups but um, they kind of sabotage this connection because they're scared of commitment. We did see that they're scared of commitment um, and they're not quite sure what a healthy, stable, loving relationship looks like. So I feel like when it's time for the two of you to reconnect and build this, rebuild this connection, uh, if that's something you're desiring, I feel like they want to start slow. They want to build that foundation with you, that friendship. This is not like a friend zoning you. This is like, I want to get to know you all over again. I want to build that friendship and then we go from there. Like this is somebody, like this also kind of reminds me of, yes, it could be lovers, family and all that. It also reminds me of partners or couples being like best friends best friends first lovers like that foundation is friendship they have a friendship this is not just like lusty devil sexual vibes here <laughs> this is like beautiful energy that ten of cups so we're gonna jump into some initials for you Sorry, it's a little loud. Okay. I have to shake it up. I feel like I'm always pulling the same letters. All right. We have F, R, A, I. V Oops, sorry, not my tripod. Oh, I really have a tickle uh tickle in my throat. So yeah, there is like some sort of blocked communication happening here. Uh T. I'm getting the French word vrai. Well, I believe that's French for, is it real or true? Yeah, I can't remember. I did take, <laughs> I took like French in high school and elementary school. So, um, I don't quite remember. I'm also seeing like frats. So somebody here might have been in a fraternity. I'm also seeing art, um, went to school for art. We have W. Uh, blank letter or blank tile here so you can insert whatever letter you want there we have another W we an M U another U 
a and T. Yeah, there's a yeah, there's quite a few um, words that you may see there or names. Okay, so before I try to, I'm sitting here trying to stare at the tiles, <laughs> looking for words and names. <laughs> the, the only word at first I saw like tart. Like somebody here likes tarts, maybe butter tarts. And then I saw the F and I thought fart. <laughs> so, okay, this is when I know it's time to end the reading. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and brought some sort of clarity into what your person is going through at this time. And be sure to subscribe if you enjoy love and relationship readings. If you want something personal, you can book on my website. Or you can reach out to me and ask through my uh, email or even my contact form on my website, whichever worked, works for you. So thanks again, and I will see you guys in the next reading. Take care. Bye-bye.